So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 2x4 stud, which is a type of wood, and then how to make a framed out wall of a house using that, as well as introducing the concepts of a group and the component and the divide function, and the multiply function rather. So to do that you're going to go to New Model, once you're in Sketch for Schools, Picks a simple template. And first thing we're going to do is get rid of Mike. And now we're going to make our first, uh, we're going to make a wall. So all walls have a bottom plate, which is basically one two by four that is on the ground. So we'll make a rectangle, make it out there, and we're going to make this three inches wide by 16 feet long. So a two by four, even though it sounds like it's two inches by four inches, actually has the actual dimensions of three and a half inches by one and a half inches. So if we do 3.5 comma 16 feet, enter, there's the bottom part. We'll zoom in, roll the mouse, then use the push-pull tool to get the top surface. And we're going to pull it up 1.5 inches. Okay, so there's our 2x4 laying on the ground. Make sure this stays in the right dimensions. Use the select tool. Click three times. One, two, three. So it selects all the lines and faces, then right click. We're going to make that a group. And we'll talk about the difference between a group and a component in a second. On top of it, on one of the ends, we'll click off the, comp the group. We'll take another triangle and we're going, this is going to be the end footprint of another 2x4. So we'll grab the corner, click, and we'll do 3.5 comma 1.5, enter. So this is going to be the end of uh, a bunch of other, the vertical 2x4s that make the frame of the wall. So Go to this again, and we'll do a triple click on this part, one, two, three, and now it's just selecting that rectangle because the other stuff is a group, and so it's not considering it as part of this. Now we're going to right click this and say make component. We're going to call this component. It, whenever you make a component, ask for a name. You don't have to put in one. It, it will just give it number one, or you can just call it your own name. Okay. Now, here's the beauty of components. They work together, and if you change one, you change all of them. So what we're going to do is, along this wall, we want to spread out a whole bunch of these rectangles, and then we will pull them up. So let's go to the Move tool. We're going to grab this component now, and we move it. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Option, which makes a copy. And I'm going to move it up along the piece of wood on the ground there, just a small distance, and then I'm going to type in 16 inches. Enter. Okay, and now it moves to 16 inches, because in a house, the vertical studs are placed every 16 inches to give the wall plenty of support. Now without touching the mouse again, we already moved one down 16 inches. If I were to type x10, that means multiply what I just did times 10. Enter. And so now you have a bunch of these all the way down the face. Now if we go over here, and so I'm going to hold shift and hit the wheel, it didn't make it all the way to the end. Okay, so what happens if we do x11? Enter. Well, almost there. How about x12? Yes, but you can see right there it's hanging off the end a little bit. So what we're going to do is zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, and I'm going to move this guy on the end just a little bit down. Nope, not that one. So let's get out of this 
And then just gonna pick this one and move it down to the end. Like you can zoom while you're doing this stuff too. There. Now, here's the beauty of components. Is if so shift click wheel and let me zoom out a little bit. If you take one of these and you do a push pull on it, all the components work the same. So you have to open a component though. So we're going to triple click on this. Or actually, then that's what it looks like when you open the component. That means you can edit it. So now if I take the push pull and I say I'm going to make that one go, <gasps> now they all go. I say eight feet tall. So now what you have, if you were to zoom out, and I click off the component and it closes it, is you now have a wall, a 16 foot long wall, that has 12 exact copies of that 8 foot long stud. I can also now take this group down at the bottom, make another copy of it, so I select that, it selects as a whole, option, and remove it. That option, I'm going to move it straight up, eight feet, eight feet, and it lands directly on the top. And now we have a perfect stud wall that was made using groups and components. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching.